Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am TMG's Not A Russian, and I am here to bring you how to gank out of the jungle playing as Axe. There's three things you need for ganking out of the jungle playing as Axe. You need to be A. Playing as Axe. B. Have someone in the solo lane who is your mate and communicating with. And C. You need to be in the right position. Now let's go on to talking about those three things. First thing, you need to be playing Axe. Now, ganking build. There's two ways you can do this. You can go for a slowing axe, who has some in the solo lane. You have someone with a stun, or you can have someone with a stun and a slow, and then go for the taunt playing as axe. It's, it's up to you. It really does. It's it's a personal preference. Um, obviously, you need to be level three because you need to have whirling blades doing the X. Well, you, you, it's up to you really. It's all personal preference, but I would say level three is a staple level to gank. Second thing you need, you need your best buddy in, in the solo lane here. I've got my friendo TMG Azanta, and he is playing Rubric. He's gone for two levels in Fade Bolt and one level for the stun. Um, expect for this person to be low on health because A, they're going to be going up against two people in the solo lane. So you want to be putting the person who's good out of the two of you in the solo lane because A, he's better than me, um, and B, I like playing Axe. Now, third thing. Positioning. You want the creeps, the enemy creeps, in this sort of area. You don't want them any further up than this, really. This is probably about here. It's going to be the furthest you can go. Otherwise, it's just too easy for them to stun and run. So, I've got our gank coming up here. I'm going to show you bit by bit what happens. So, let's put this into one speed and let's see what happens. Right, position wise. Ideally, you want to catch them. Out of position. This Nyx assassin, he's just creep dived. He's in a bad spot right now. He's going to be feeling the pain in a minute. And also, you want to be looking at their health and mana. Tidehunter hasn't got enough mana to do anything worthwhile, apart from his uh, whatever this thing's called, Axe Smash. But the thing is, he's going to have to be in melee range. And you know, when Axe stun uh, taunts, you can't cast spells. So it's all good. Tidehunters are basically useless here. Nyx is the only one we're going to have to worry about because of his stun. But as you see here, he runs off to stun my mate Azanta, who DPSs him some more. Azanta, as I say, is a very good player. Um, I'm not sure about the rating systems in Dota, but I'm a bit slow here off the go. Play a bit of Ring a Ring Around the Roses. Oh, MP, uh, yeah, Mana Pot there, popped. I block my friendo because I'm not very clever and I'm not very good at this game. And I think I catch both of them here with the slow, uh, the taunt, sorry. Nope, I just checked. Oh, God, God, I missed it. That was awful. Well, let's just chase him down. He's We've got him trapped in the corner. Bang, there, there you go. There's your kill. Welcome back. We're on the other side of the map. I'm going to go for a bit more roaming and ganking. Um, this isn't strictly ganking out of the jungle, playing as Axe, but um, this is still a gank out of the jungle, just not your jungle. Technicalities, ladies and gentlemen, technicalities. Right, let's kick it off, let's see what happens. Oh, no, let's put it onto uh, normal speed. There we go. Right, so I'm waiting in the trees, waiting in the trees, looking for Skeleton King to stun. There's the stun. I was trying to get both of them, but I thought, now, nah, what's the point? Skeleton King gets him. Now, when you've got this many people, two strength heroes, you can dive. Watch this. Oh look, I'm not taking that much damage and I'm chasing you. Whirling Blade. He attacked me. Whirling Blade. Killed him. Job done. Sorted. There's a gank. Three people. It's even easier. What? One person in the lane. You can still do it. It's still pretty easy. You're seeing this. I'm not even that good. You just saw how badly I played there. Still got a kill. Seeing as the Nature's Prophet came back, I thought I might as well stick around and look for another gank. Saw the creep wave coming in. There's the taunt. Now, I haven't actually really talked to, too much about technique here. Ideally, playing as axe, you want to be hitting, you want to be getting hit by a lot of creeps, a lot of creeps. Thus, as we talked about in my stacking guide, it increases the potential for more whirling blades, more spins, more whirly, 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 and uh, there you go, you get spinning kills. So, what I did here was I went out into the lane taunted nature's profit but I taunted when he when the creeps had come into range I think he had some uh, I don't know nope 
I was just getting hit by the creeps and the tower, I think, at this time, um, which is fine because you want to be getting hit as much as possible. When you pop Berserker's Call, you get 30 armor, so you practically take no damage. Let's just see. I've got. Oh, you can't actually see at the moment. But, uh, yeah, what, just watch what happens. Watch what Whirling Blades does in Nature's Prophet. Like three uh, whirling blades there, and I took him down to three quarters health, and the other people just finished him off. That was good play. Now, this is ideal. Two heroes, almost dead. So I've come out of the jungle. Literally, when you gank out of a jungle, you want your uh, your guy in the lane. You want him to be stunning or slowing as you walk out of the jungle. You do need boots, obviously. Um, get boots after your first gank because they're not going to have boots but getting boots early on axe is really helpful because you can get right up their ass with berserker's call cool, and just tear them to pieces with counter helix and then eventually culling blade oh let's turn the game da uh, thing down so look one whirling blade there I haven't even popped berserker's call cool yet and he's down to 11 hit points all I've got to do is hit him once and he's dead uh, Rubik just uh, fade bolted and this is a mistake you shouldn't make you if someone's this low and you've got this much support here look you've got got the windrunner and you've got Rubik and yourself don't culling blade don't don't culling blade don't do that don't do that it's just not necessary another thing when playing as axe and trying to gank out of the jungle look for this this well you can't really see it but um, look for one of the support -y sort of heroes leaving the lane and also if you're standing about here ready to gank and you see them back off completely you know there's a ward there so if you suspect there's a ward don't bother ganking look to gank mid or look to gank top just go and roam if you can't gank your lane go roam because that's what Axe I feel was built for just roaming and killing all of their team when ganking, if you see someone do this, like actually run at you, someone likes Slada because he loves doing these sort of things, um, and there's a big gap between uh, him and his buddy, and your uh, friend isn't that far away, or they have some way of getting there really fast, such as Blink, then this is great because it forces the other person to either let their buddy die or to come to you. So as you can see here, it forces him to come to me. And the best thing is, if you can get them bunched up, Axe just ruins them. They bunch straight up, walk straight into Berserker's Call. Cool. I'm getting hit twice. It's still enough to pop Counter Helix sometimes, which is great. There's a Counter Heat. Oh no, sorry, that was uh, Queen of Pain's ulti. Queen of Pain's ulti just does so much damage. And a Whirling Blade at the same time, so he's just feeling the pain, that Wisp. And there's. Uh, my hit and Queen of Pain's hit at the same time. You want to focus the weakest target for easy monies. Um, obviously, if you're using some sort of um, voice chat like Skype or TeamSpeak or Vent, this is so much easier for focusing. But obviously, you can um, type beforehand. Communication is key. You can be worse than the enemy team, actually, skill wise. But if you're communicating and playing as a team, you will absolutely ruin a team of Rambos. They won't even stand a chance. The problem with playing a jungle hero is that you rely on the other person in the lane to stop you getting ganked in the jungle. Um, that's what ganking out of the jungle is great for. It's great for stopping them coming into the jungle to kill you. And it's also good for obviously getting farm and obviously getting higher. As you can see here, they try and gank into the jungle. I was already ready to gank out of the jungle, but they preempted it and they've come in for me. But they're split up, which is great. Slado goes straight for me. I was sort of running away because I wasn't feeling confident about Queen of Pain being out of position. But as playing Axe, you sometimes get into this weird state of play where you just dive in and just hope for the best. So even though I've uh, had amplified damage put on me, I'm still going for it, and I've been stunned. And you just heard a Queen of Pain 
use scream of pain over here instead of actually on them but you know it doesn't matter excuse for bad play there's easy enough damage here to uh, deal with them especially as you know Axe he's, he's still very tanky even without any items so Queen of Pain gets focused down by Slardar here that's really his mistake he doesn't go for me Axe is so dangerous people really underestimate how dam how much damage Axe can do and how dangerous he is we've got Warlock teleporting in which is fantastic because it's just more support see I'm just getting uh, I think spirits make me pop a uh, counter helix proc counter helix so I'm just doing so much damage to Slardo even though you know he's a very tanky hero as well I force Wisp to attack me which stops them being able to focus down Queen of Pain because Queen of Pain although she's got lots of maneuverability she's not very squi she's very squishy she's not very tanky at all so someone like Slardo if he gets off a stun it does a lot of damage there's the scream of pain now as I said earlier on don't use culling blade in a situation where it's not needed this is a time when it's needed because look he's got stun slivering crash just about to come in so you can preempt that and cut his head off with culling blade as I just uh, give you an example here oh no he gets the stun off that's, uh, that's a bit embarrassing boom there we go that bloody gore right there has his uh, head explodes and the great thing about the capitate or culling blade is it gives you a speed buff for, for all of your teammates in the surrounding area so you can chase someone down if you need to this is a perfect position for a gank you've got a support who's well out of the way there's no teammates because you can see the majority of them are engaged in a fight up to the top literally if you've got two people this you could do this uh, with your hands and side by your back you pop a stun like so you walk up and especially at a point like this where you manage to pull all of these creeps onto you using berserkers call you absolutely ruin one of these especially when you're doing 190 damage per per whirling blade that's one whirling blade two whirling blades and then you get the kill using the culling blade it wasn't really necessary there um, but hey we all like to be showmen Thank you for watching my presentation of how to gank out of the jungle. I am TMG's Not a Russian, and uh, I'll see you next time. Check back for more Dota stuff as well. It'll be coming. It's coming. See ya.